ladies first? <laughs> uh, well, I play Melina, and Melina is this kind of bold, ethereal, kind of mysterious new character. Um, she had a different upbringing than most. I mean, from the beginning, she was told that she was destined for greatness, so she was kind of kept hidden away from the world um, and just training, really, and trying to use her powers and be the best she can be. And uh, I play Tommy Clark, uh, just a typical you know, teenage guy who's uh, just struggling with the everyday struggles of high school. Um, but he has this, 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 this secret about him, uh, which is obviously the fact that he has a, a power um, that's kind of eating away inside. Um, and given this new, this tone of this new world, this dystopian present, um, he can't really divulge anything about it. He has to keep it a secret, and that uh, is very tough on him. So that's something that kind of carries with him as a series. Can you divulge anything about it? Like the power? Uh, we just saw the uh, extended trailer in Ball H, um, and uh, it essentially showed that I can make other people disappear. <laughs> That's the thing, he doesn't know. He, he has no idea whether he's transporting him somewhere else, whether it's just going into the, the abyss, he has no idea. Um, so. That could be very helpful in high school. Yeah, yeah, I mean, if someone, if, someone, if you're like getting picked on, you're like, go away. Go on. Are Tom, Emily, and Melina going to the same school? Are you so sheltered that maybe you're homeschool? What's going on with that? I am completely, you know, away from the real world. So, very yeah. secluded. <laughs> yeah, Danique is just isolated. Um, I do go to the same school as Emily, that's how I meet her. Um, it's when that relationship kind of starts and buzz and goes from one thing to the next. So, so if someone, teacher, gives you a bad grade, you can just make them disappear. Yeah, it's, it's actually very helpful. It's just that morality thing. Is he gonna, is he gonna go that far? As Tommy's powers emerge, does that is that going to start putting him on like the government's radar, or the I guess the people who persecute against those with powers? Like, what happens? Like, how does his life change? Well, he uh, because he has this power. I think he, him and his mother, because he's on the run with his mother, he he makes the decision not to uh, not to really tell the government. I mean, you can register as, as an Evo, but you get persecuted if you do so. So um, he uh, he decides not to do that to keep it a secret. Um, but as time goes on, there is a progression in, in everyone's characters, and uh, I think as he discovers more about his power, that begins to affect the situation and might potentially jeopardize the situation. What attracted you guys to your role? I think I just think it's awesome that I have power. To be honest with you, like, yeah. Right. I mean, when I auditioned for this, I didn't honestly know who I was gonna play because the audition was just—it was very secretive, and so we had big sides. We didn't really know like what it was going to be or if we had powers, but there's just something about it that just really drew me in. Also, I was a huge fan of the series, the original, so I just I really wanted to be a part of it. Yeah, we had no idea what was going on until like we shot. We, the first yeah, we started shooting. Uh, but no, it, there was kind of that that tantalizing element about it where we where we were kind of kept in the dark for a little bit, and any any new information that came in was kind of like gold to us, and so we kind of latched onto it. It's just really exciting. It's really cool. Which of the characters do you get to help you get to have scenes with rapidly so you can have some fun on? I think it would be really cool. Thank you. It would be really cool to uh, have scenes with some good, you know, old cast members because we've seen the show, the original show, so it's really amazing to, to see and to, to be able to play a character in this new world and to be able to have us interact with the characters from the old shows. Yeah, I, mean, I would really like to work with Jack. Um, and also Henry, I mean, Hen they, those two work together, and Henry is hilarious, and I've heard so many stories about the two of them, you know, shooting, um, so I think it would be great to work with them, or just anyone, because I haven't worked with anyone yet, so, <laughs> I would like to work with someone. <laughs> <laughs> they just have you off in your own room, by yourself, right? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm very much by myself. It's okay. <laughs> in the extended trailer that you showed Holly, your character is shown like standing on a hunk of ice. Um, where is that exactly? Are, are you like when you say like remotely raised? Are you like in the Antarctic? Or? I am somewhere in the Arctic. Yes. Okay. <laughs> How do you dress in the Arctic for that? Designer clothes. Yeah. Designer yeah. clothes. Yeah. Designer clothes. <laughs> really good stores out there. Yeah. No, I guess she, you know she kind of just forged for herself. Um, I mean, she's wearing seal skin, so she probably hunts. Um, you know, when she hunts, she probably just takes skin from 
and rolls to feed herself before her. As you do. You know, super so gas. Isolation by choice. <laughs> Is she afraid of what she can do? She's not afraid. It's not really by choice. Um, I mean, you know, from the beginning she's told that she's destined for certain things. And so in order to fulfill that, she kind of has to be separated. Um, and also she's kind of in the Arctic just so that way she can keep her powers under control. And so that way she can train without anyone knowing who she is. Great, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.